Okay class, so attendance muna tayo. Please let me know you're present by hitting the subscribe button and saying present in the comment section. Bilang reward naman sa'yo sa paggawa mo yan, I will be giving you a free book. Sir Dave, so I just received the book po and again, thank you po for giving me this book. Sana po lumaki pa yung Sir Dave's Classroom Channel. Thank you po Sir Dave. Wala nang mawawala sa'yo, subukan mo lang, ano? Good day po, ako pa si Krista din Taganda na nagpapasalamat po dahil natanggap ko na ang book na galing kay Sir Dave Wigner Reyno. At iniimbatahan ko po kayong manood ng kanyang mga videos sa kanyang YouTube channels na Sir Dave's Classroom. Malaking tulong na po ito sa akin at para sa inyo rin. Say present in the comment section below. Receive ko na po sir. Thank you. Thank you sir. So that would be my thank you gift for you. So let us answer this exercise. Instruction, prepare the necessary adjusting entries on December 31, 2020 to adjust the given items below. Shown below is the unadjusted trial balance of Linis Pinoy for December 31, 2020. Linis Pinoy trial balance, December 31, 2020. From cash of 226,000 up to miscellaneous expense of 140,000, the debit column totals 10,681,000 The credit column also has the same total 10,681,000 Additional information as follows Number 1 The prepaid rent was paid on January 2, 2020 for 18 months starting January 2020 So prepaid rent yung tinutukoy dito sa additional info number 1 So let's take a look at our trial balance May nakalagay na prepaid rent, the balance is 360000 Obviously, the company used the asset method. So, kung matatandaan natin, anong adjustment itong, uh, itong additional information number 1 na to? Is it A1234 or B1, B2? Correct. It is A3. It is prepayment of expenses. So, obviously, asset method or expense method ang pwede natin gamitin. Since prepaid rent, yung account title na nakikita natin dito, it means to say that the company used the asset method. Okay? Otherwise, kung expense method yan, dapat rent expense ang nakikita kita natin dyan. But it is prepaid rent so asset method. Initially therefore, it was debited to prepaid rent and credited to cash. Okay? So kung hahayaan natin na hanggang December 31, end of the period, eh yung prepaid rent natin would have a total of 360 mali na yan. When it was journalized initially, there was nothing wrong with that. But now, okay, December 31 na, then 12 months has expired already. And that amount, 360,000 is good for 18 months. That means to say that 12 out of 18 has already expired, used, or consumed. So, ibig sabihin yan, 360,000 times 12 over 18. Yun yung ating computation. So, kung gagawa ka ng T-account, ang pangalan ay prepaid rent. Initially debited for 360,000. Out of the 360,000, okay, 12 out of 18 has already expired. Ibig sabihin, yung natitira na lang na 6 over 18 na lang ang unexpired. Ilan yung 12 over 18 times 360,000? That must be, how much? 240,000. And this one must be 120,000. Ito yung part na an Use. The prepaid rent is the unused portion. So the updated balance must only be 120. To make the 60,120, kailangan mong 360 ito dapat. To make the 360,120, kailangan mong bawasan ng 240. So, i-credit mo, credit side, yung prepaid rent. So, first adjustment natin, mga kasama. It must be credit, although we have mentioned already, ha? 
na dapat ang unang sinusulat must be the debit. But only for illustration and discussion purposes, pinapakita ko kasi dito sa ating T-account, nakakredit yung prepaid rent ng 240 So, for presentation purposes lang. And syempre, ang debit must be to recognize the amount used already. Okay? Rent expense. So, debit, rent expense, 240,000. Credit, prepaid rent, 240,000. Once again, be careful with abbreviations. Kasi may mga teachers na ayaw na nagsushortcut ka. Okay? May mga teachers na ayaw na nagsushortcut tulad dito sa atin. Sabi natin, prep for the prepaid rent. So, there are teachers na ayaw niyan. So, be careful. Be sure to consult with your teacher kung papayagan ka ng ganyan. Okay? Number two. As of December 31, 2020, unused supplies were determined to be 54,000 only. Unused supplies. Titingin ka dun sa trial balance. Ano bang related account title na tinutukoy dyan? Ayun, meron kang unused office supplies. Ang sabi, 160 daw. Okay? But as of December 31, sinasabi sa additional information na ang unused ay 54,000 na lamang. So, we have to adjust. Let me erase some of this first. Ayan. So, if we make a T-account, ang pangalan ng T-account ay, according to the trial balance, unused supplies. Okay? Which was initially debited at 160,000. Again, this is A3, prepayment of expenses. Ang available methods ay asset or expense method. Obviously, the company here used the asset method again because of the account title debited, 160. Eh, sinasabi ngayon, mali daw yan. 54 na lang daw ang tira. Yun ang sabi. So, to make the 160, 54, babawasan mo siya ng 106. So, 106 credit to unused supplies. Therefore, our adjusting journal entry would be credit 106,000. Siyempre, ang debit natin to recognize the use portion. That must be 106 office supplies expense. Okay, number three. Furniture and fixtures was estimated to have a 10-year life with 50,000 scrap value at the end of its life. So, ang hinihingi lang sa atin dito, yung ating depreciation expense, adjustment for depreciation. So, what would be our adjusting journal entry? The adjustment should be debit, alam na natin, depreciation expense, credit, accumulated depreciation, furniture, and fixtures. Once again, makikita mo yung ating trial balance, may nakalagay furniture and fixtures. So, dapat ganun din mismo yung gagamitin nating account title. That is our adjustment number three. When teachers like me teach in front of a live audience, we derive satisfaction to some extent from the interaction with students. Yung mga simpleng pagtawa mo sa mga jokes namin, they mean something to us. They make us happy. But teaching in front of the camera is a different thing. We don't even know if you're there. We don't even know if you're listening. So a simple like dun sa ating video or a simple present, sir, na dito po kami nakikinig, we are watching, sir, will inspire us. When teachers like me teach in front of a live audience, we know that you are there. But teaching in front of the camera is not merely sharing our content. It means sharing our time, our devotion, and above all, our passion. So, yung simpleng pag-subscribe mo sa amin, it lets us know that you are there and we are here to continue what we are doing. So, ngayon pa lang, nagpapasalamat na kami. Diyan sa yung subscription, uh, it inspires us. It, since it inspires me to wake up every morning, prepare discussion materials, and continue what I am doing. So, thank you so much. Please continue sharing and liking and subscribing. Thank you. Okay, number Four. The equipment when purchased was estimated to have an estimated life of 20 years and scrap value of 200,000 at the end of its life. So tulad ng ating computation kanina, cost minus the scrap value divided by the life in years would give you the annual depreciation. So ganun din gagawin natin dito. Kung titignan natin, yung equipment naman has a cost of how much? 4,200,000. Minus, ilan yung sabing scrap value? 200,000. So, bali ang depreciable cost ay 4 million lang divided by 20 years. So, ilan yung ating annual depreciation? It is 200,000. Okay? 200,000. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating adjusting journal entry here, just the same, debit depreciation expense, credit accumulated depreciation, equipment, 200,000. Okay, number five. The notes payable was dated April 1, 2020 with 12% interest and will mature in one year.
one year. Notes payable. Saan ba yung notes payable natin? Ito, okay? 400,000 daw. Dated April 1. will mature in one year. So, anong kailangan adjustment dito? Since it is note payable, kailangan nating mag-accrue ng interest na na-incur kahit hindi pa nababayaran. So, anong class So, sa ang classification ito, this is adjusting entry B1, accrual of expenses. I hope you remember your A1234 B1 and B2. Okay? So, if your notes payable is 400,000, principal times rate times time PRT okay ilan yung rate natin 12% ilan yung ating time from April to December that is 9 months out of 12 400,000 times 12% times 9 over 12 that must be 36,000 okay so our journal entry should be Debit, interest, expense, credit, accrued, interest, payable. 36,000. So, I hope you're following. Sure, you're following. Number six, the loans payable was taken last year at 12% rate and will mature in five years. Loans payable. Ito naman ang tinutukoy. So, 900,000. So, just the same, 900,000 times, again, 12% times 12 out of 12 or one year. Class, pag nagbigay ng rate, yung rate ay annual. Okay? Kahit 5 years ang sinasabi yan, the rate is annual. So, simply, 900,000 times 12%. Okay? Ayan. 108,000. So, anong ating adjusting journal entry? Entry should be debit, interest, expense, 108,000. Credit, accrued interest payable. Ayan. Next, number 7, second to the last. Accrued salaries as of December 31, 2020 amounts to 36,000. So, this is merely accrual of expense. Accrual lang of salary. So, entry, debit, salaries, expense, or salaries and wages. Depende dun sa account title. Ano bang ginagamit na account title ng company? Tingin ka sa trial balance. Meron ditong salaries, expense. So, that means to say, yun ang ginagamit ng company. So, debit, salary, Salaries expense, credit, accrued salaries payable, 36,000. Number 8, as of December 31, 2020, 15,000 additional accounts were determined to be worthless. So this is merely provision of allowance. So ano entry natin dito? Debit, doubtful accounts, expense, credit, allowance for doubtful accounts, 15,000. Okay class, so that's the bell already. That's it for this meeting. Uh, so ganun-ganun lang class. A few minutes of your time every day, imbis na kung ano-ano yung pinapanood mo, just make it a habit to watch our videos pa bilang tulong na rin dun sa sarili mong pag-aaral. Why? Kasi tatandaan mo, hindi lahat ng nababasa mo ng mag-isa ay maririnig mo. At hindi din lahat ng mga naririnig mo ay mababasa mo. Tulungan yan. So with that, see you in our next meeting. See you in the next lesson.